Amen. Our scripture reading this morning is from 1 John chapter 5. Once again, bear with me. I thought, you know, only one sermon left, and then I realize there's still more to say in this passage. Um, so I am not just dragging it out. I continue to discover the beautiful things in, in 1 John, and I hope you with me. Uh, so the focus today will only be on verse 18, and I'll show you uh, why as we continue. Let's first listen to God's Word. These things I have written to you who believe in the name of the Son of God, so that you may know that you have eternal life. This is the confidence which we have before Him, that if we ask anything according to His will, He hears us. And if we know that He hears us in whatever we ask, we know that we have the requests which we have asked from Him. If anyone sees his brother committing a sin not leading to death, he shall ask, and God will for him give life to those who commit sin not leading to death. There is a sin leading to death. I do not say that he should make requests for this. All unrighteousness is sin, and there is a sin not leading to death. We know that no one who is born of God sins, but he who was born of God keeps him, and the evil one does not touch him. We know that we are of God and that the whole world lies in the power of the evil one. And we know that the Son of God has come and has given us understanding so that we may know Him who is true. And we are in Him who is true, in His Son, Jesus Christ. This is the true God and eternal life. Little children, guard yourself.